News reporter Dan Perlman. He's been chasing storms all afternoon and joins us now live in Coffeeville. Dan. Yeah, well, you know, right now we are here about five miles east of Coffeeville, Kansas, in Washington County, where, uh, as Brett said, the tornado watch was just lifted a short time ago. You can see it's really pretty sunny, and if you just look at my shirt, you can see it's pretty windy. But other than that, it is very calm out here. There do appear to be some storms off uh, in the distance, but again, nothing major where we are right now. Just windy, sunny, very much like it is back in Tulsa. For now, we are live in Coffeeville, Kansas. Dan Perlman. And two news works for you. Thank you, Dan. Now, anytime thunderstorms roll in, lightning poses a threat. In 2012, one Oklahoman was killed by a lightning strike. To stay safe outside, avoid high places and open fields. You should also steer clear of isolated trees, water, and metal poles or fences. If you're indoors, avoid using phones, computers, and running water. Emergency management leaders say now is the time to start planning for severe weather. They're urging everyone to start talking with loved ones about what to do during a severe weather outbreak. They say that families should put together a disaster kit, which includes things like bottled water, non-perishable food, flashlights, and batteries. They say the worst thing you can do is become complacent. Make sure that you have your plans in order to take care of your family should a tornado uh, hit, hit your home or your, your business or uh, wherever you frequent. Wherever you go, you should have a plan to take care of your family. Homeowners are also urged to register their safe rooms, and the city of Tulsa offers free registration within city limits. Now is also a great time to pick up our 2 News Storm Shield app. It works like a weather radio, sending you alerts when storms are headed your way. It's on sale right now for just $2.99, and it's available for Apple and Android devices. New